Greetings to the members of the Time 3 SOS. In the last video, we saw the secrets and a few qualities of philosopher stone alchemy. Let's see more about the details of Yoga 5 Elements. Yoga 5 Elements has three important features. They are Devamritam, Asuramritam and Vanamritam. They are also known as Pida Sudan Parisutavi or Agara Ugaram Magaram. If you don't understand these, just let them be. If you still keep listening and try to understand what is going on here, even I wouldn't be able to stop you from dozing off. Only a snake knows the tracks left behind by another snake. Similarly, people who have experience on this can keep listening and the others please listen after completing the early stages of the philosopher's stone alchemy research and then get back. Getting back, Devamridam is highly acidic in nature and Asuramridam is highly alkaline in nature while Vanamridam is neither alkali or acidic and is neutral in nature. There are lots of people around the world who have been trying to develop this medicine. A few of them with the knowledge about the secret ingredient and a few without it. At the end of this video, I let you know the easy method to obtain the important molecule as it has the potential to save lives and will be very helpful to the human race. Like I already told, Devamridam is highly acidic in nature. If you mix a drop of it with a huge drum of water, the water will turn acidic. In a similar manner, if you mix a java pepper sized asaramridam to a huge drum of water, the water will become alkaline. Devamridam or acidic natured edible items induces growth in our body. Hence, kids need food that are acidic in nature so that growth is induced in their body. Alkaline food items increases elimination process in a person's body. That is, it helps remove the waste products from a body. When a person's body loses alkalinity completely and is filled with acidity, it is known as the end of life or death. So this is what happens when somebody dies. It is very essential and important to improve our knowledge on acidic and alkaline nature products. A few people with the knowledge on Siddha medicine learn about the alkaline natured Asuramritam from a guru or by other means. Those who learned about this consume it and suffer with excess amount of diarrhea, vomiting and bleeding which eventually leads to death. Karunagara Swamigal, Chengi Balram, Dr. Amirdaraj and their disciples Muniandi Swamigal, Bhagadava Swamigal. These are people with knowledge about Asaramritam. When one consumes only Asaramritam, an immense amount of waste products gets excreted out of their body, leading to death. Similar thing happens when only Devamritam is consumed. Increased amount of acidity degrades the body, thereby causing death. When we mix them both in the same proportion, we will obtain a neutral product. Don't forget that only the neutral product is consumable. Please don't get into any problems by eating the wrong thing. But when we mix them together, the marvelous qualities gets lost and it turns into a normal medicine. Thereby, it is very dangerous to consume them separately and if combined, it loses its quality and becomes a normal medicine. How do we solve this problem? When it turns into a normal medicine, it is called the medicinal five elements. To obtain alchemy yoga five elements, one has to go through Siddhar's complete composition of poems to understand the important secrets regarding it. Now we are going to see about Vanamardam, the third feature and it is really important. Whoever is able to receive this Vanamardam in their body 
by doing some higher level meditation techniques will be able to consume asuramardham and devamardham separately this won't affect their body because of the presence of vanamardham in their body vanamardham is a great energy a prana the universe is filled entirely with it it is even present in the air around us almost every siddha have written about this vanamardham fire can be seen through eyes aroma can be perceived with the help of olfactory nerves in the nose any objects could be felt by touch but vanamardham's presence in the air around us would only be drawn inside our body with the help of our mind you will have to learn to have control over your senses to be able to achieve that our conscience has to get separated from our mind after separating the conscience and the mind the person attains a conscious state this stage strengthens the 10 channels through which energy flows into our body called the dasa nadi and controls 10 types of vital energy in the form of air called dasa vayu and improves a person to one armor them stage at this stage a person's breathing process stops and time also stops for that person this stage is also known as sulumana yogam this phase sustains for many hours and helps the body to receive vanamardham when devamardham and asuramardham are consumed separately or mixed by a person with vanamardham in their body it evolves into yoga five elements there are some doctors out there with spiritual involvement claiming that meditation and yoga are a waste of time and does not improve spirituality in any ways they go on stating that gaining the knowledge of alchemy yoga five elements and consuming it is enough to attain the stage where one mingles with the supreme nature power known as the yoga nilai i would like to make a request or should i better say challenge to such doctors to prove that only medicine is required to attain yoga nilai rather than practicing yoga and meditation techniques if at least one person is able to prove it i'll surrender my life's medical work my wealth and everything at his feet and follow his footsteps i have never met such a person in my life i have gone to nook and corners of india and to many other nations but have never met a person who only needs medicine to attain high levels of spirituality no good comes from just giving lectures and believing in speculations once i met a person who claimed that he has a medicine and consuming his medicine would make one feel that they are in heaven i took that medicine and got it tested at the lab and found out that it has a high amount of narcotic substances once i discovered that i have been trying to get that person but could never get a hold of him beware of such people i have revealed about the most important thing without hiding any details about it those who are craving for spirituality please learn the techniques to receive vanamardham from an apt guru and then consume asuramardham and devamardham only then a person will be able to cross the ocean of births especially the elderly who are interested in spirituality a few years back i was in deep meditation at the himalayas a yogi came by and asked me to open my mouth i gained consciousness from my meditation and opened my mouth he put a medicine in the size of a java pepper in my mouth and left once i swallowed the medicine i didn't feel thirst sleep or hunger and therefore no excretion after a few days i returned back home tamil nadu even after coming home i was in sleepy thirsty or hungry this went on for a few more days but the miraculous thing is that 
I never felt tired and I was always energetic during this time period. I understood clearly that he had guided me towards the higher level philosopher's stone alchemy by letting me know its effects and the initial lessons to develop it. I have meditated several times at the same place in Himalayas in the same very cold climate but I have not been able to see him since then. But still I have been striving hard to cure patients with utmost encouragement from my guru a descendant of the siddha tradition by surrendering myself to his foot i have been learning the secrets step by step and i would love to share those with you but at first let's learn about the secrets of medicinal five elements jai hind